Hello, fabulous Aries. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of March 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. And it is a huge astrological month, especially for you. There's just so much to talk about here. So I'm going to start with Mars because Mars is actually doing some interesting things as you start this month. Mars continues to move through the very top of your sky. And it is going to be towards the end of the month that Mars will meet Saturn. Now Saturn is going to change signs as well and that will happen right around the 22nd but these two planets are going to meet at the very end of the month accelerating this whole awareness as to where it is and how it is things are changing for you and they certainly are going to feel very different at the end of the month than they do at the beginning. So with Mars navigation through this month, meeting different power players in the sky and spending most of the month at the very top of your sky, well, that tells me that this is a time when you're driven, you're focused on some goal, you may very well be feeling like you want to make something happen. Mercury retrograde may not be very helpful in the first half of the month, but you are gonna have these moments where you feel like your efforts matter and they're helping you to make gains and refine your pathway forward. Now, Saturn changing signs is huge for all of us. I will have special horoscopes up before we get to March 22nd, no worry there, because it is going to represent a shift of an awareness as to where it is that we're ready to be more honest with ourselves and take greater ownership for our happiness in a brand new area of life. Now, Saturn's just gonna dip into this brand new part of the sky, moving back, retrograding back to where he has been uh, for the better part of the last over two years now. And so it is gonna be as uh, we have Saturn moving into a part of the sky now that has to do with friendships and groups that you belong to. And at the end of the month, meeting your ruling planet, I feel like this is a real moment for you of a deepening understanding as to who you are in relation to others, but it's the very, very beginning. It is about you coming to an understanding as to where it is you feel connected to people, where it is you don't, where it is you're ready to join forces and focus on an outcome to make really big opportunities happen for yourself and where it is that perhaps certain alliances, certain group endeavors have served their purpose. It is important to watch what is happening in your life as we move into the later part of the month because this is where some of your bigger lessons for the better part of the next three years are going to begin to show themselves to you. But it's even bigger than that. If you watched your Decade Ahead horoscope, I'll try to link to it somewhere in the description below as well. I spoke about how it is going to be this very area for you that is going to be lit up in so many ways as we navigate further and further into the decade. This is just the beginning. And so as much as you can strive to be honest with yourself as you are coming to realize how you have changed and how that must affect the dynamics you have with others. Now let's talk about some of the things that I think people are going to feel more, which is basically the lunar events. Lunar events tend to be much more on the surface, even though the move of Saturn is monumental. I do want to say it is going to be in the first part of the month, right around the 9th, when we are going to have a super moon. Now this is a full moon that will appear uh, to be especially close to us. It happens closer to the earth and it is brighter in the sky as well. That's what defines a super moon. That's what we're having now. And just like it suggests, the symbolism is that much more powerful. The energy of emotion is that much stronger for all of us. For you, this energy is playing out in a part of the sky that has to do with your daily life. And so whether that is your workplace and the type of work you're doing and the people who are there, or whether this is related to your health-related habits, all of that is covered here. Now, this full moon does have a confusing and dissolving element. That is because it is standing across the sky from Neptune, but it is also speaking in supreme harmony with Pluto and with Jupiter. This is a very changeable time, but also an important and empowering time where it comes to your daily life. So in some way, your workplace, and whom is there and what you're doing 
is going through a transformation. You may have some mixed feelings around this as well because Neptune in particular has a dissolving quality. It may feel like certain people are going at this time and it may be a female coworker that is exiting, but it looks like you are able to translate that into a position of power for yourself. Now it could also be that what you do in terms of your tasks, in terms of what feels especially fulfilling for you is going through a transformation as well. This can be a time of increased power and some sense of you going for something that does matter to you deeply in some way. And that can make this time that much more rewarding. But just keep in mind, lots is changing on the daily front and you may find yourself very busy and needing to practice some healthy self-care at this time because part of that dissolving energy, well, that just might be you feeling tired. And so self-care becomes a key part of how it is that you may take advantage of opportunities as things start to feel like they're changing in the workplace. Now, for those of you who are using this energy more in terms of your health, this can be a very empowered time of making changes on that front that feel like they move you to a better state of well-being very quickly. There may though be some sense of uncertainty that gets you to that place of empowerment, but I just love how beautifully aligned this moon is with Pluto and with Jupiter. It tells me that healing is with you and that blessings are with you at this time as well. As we navigate late into the month, right around the 24th is when we will have this month's new moon. This new moon is taking place in your sign. And that means that you in some way are feeling like the star of the show, are feeling like you are ready to begin again. Now, Saturn is harmoniously aligned with this new moon. And what that tells me is that there's a real sense of groundedness with you at this time, a sense of inner stability and an understanding of what your bigger picture looks like, what your long-term goals are, and what it is that you can do right now to align with that more fully, that vision, that stability, that success that you may be envisioning. Other people may factor in at this time as well as your group endeavors, friendships are evolving in some way, but it really does come back to you your truth, your understanding of whom it is you really are. Having a new moon in your sign, well, that happens once a year. And when it happens, it represents a sense of clarity as to what you know to be true about you on the most personal levels. What matters to you most? What matters to you first? There will be not only a newfound clarity, but also a real sense now of you taking action to support this new understanding that ultimately allows you to be more you in a way that feels that much more rewarding. Where it comes to matters of love, it will be right around the fifth of the month that Venus will leave your sign. I spoke about Venus in your sign last month. Well, now as Venus leaves your sign, we'll move into a brand new part of the sky that is connected to self-esteem and self-worth. And what I really love about Venus in this sign is the beautiful connections she will be making with other power players. Although first meeting Uranus, there'll be a little bit of a surprise before we get to the more harmonious connections. And I do think for you, there is gonna be some epiphany moment where you're either considering where you've been in love or where you are now and how it reflects or speaks to your own sense of self, your own sense of self value of self love. It is intimately connected now, that sense of self to what is happening in a more external way. So for those of you open to meeting someone new, you may very well attract an experience, especially in the early part of the month that does take you by surprise, but encourages you to dive in a little bit more deeply to understand your own motivations and your own rootedness and healthy self-esteem as you come to navigate and learn more about this person. Now, for those of you who are just starting to date somebody, 
This energy can be quite interesting. On the one hand, especially at the beginning of this transit, there may be a feeling that uh, you are getting insights into what it is within you that has brought you to this situation with this person. Once we navigate beyond that though, this part of the sky is also connected to your own sense of giving and generosity. And you may be feeling especially abundant. This is also part of the sky connected to money you earn and money you spend. Venus is a blessing after all. So outside of love, I see this as a lovely financial month for you. But where it comes to the context of love, you may find yourself wanting to be more generous with this person. Now, what you do is always up to you in light of your unique circumstance, but just know some of that energy is there. And as long as it is um, an energy that you're aware of, that you're aware that it's coming from not a place of lack, not a place of feeling like um, you need to do this in order to feel like this person is there, but rather comes from a place within you that is rooted in generosity and abundance and feeling a genuine sense of having it to give, but also feeling like you're receiving, well, that's where you're on the right track, but you may need a moment of self-honesty to ensure that the giving is coming from a good place. And for those of you in an established bond, well, it tends to make it that much easier to give in established bonds, just because there tends to be a history and establish a sense of giving and receiving. With a month like this and with the spirit of abundance with you, I do think there will be um, at least one or two notable generous moments of giving on your part. But at the same time, it could also be you that finds yourself um, receiving something that has you feeling blessed with a new possession of some kind by way of your partner. Remember though, for the first half of the month, almost half of the month, Mercury is retrograde. And what that means is you might change your mind, okay? So just keep that in mind. Anything you do end up purchasing for someone else, for yourself even, you may end up realizing that what you really want or what you really need is something very different. So if you can, wait until we get as late in the month as possible as this Mercury retrograde season starts to wane as Mercury starts moving later and later into shadow, coming out of shadow at the very end of the month, well, that's when you start to move into energy that's a lot more free and clear to feel like you're able to buy things you really like. <laughs> what I love about this month for you, well, look, it's a huge and consequential astrological month, especially for you, make no mistake, that new moon at the end of the month in your sign or late in the month in your sign, speaking with Saturn in a brand new sign, well, all of that does suggest that these larger moves that are taking place now with Saturn entering a brand new part of your sky, well, it isn't just about things changing there, but it's a lot more personal than that. You're making emotional connections and realizing more of what it is that you need to be happy with yourself and how that shows up in your connections with other people, romantically or socially, or in terms of the different dynamics socially and group-wise that you find yourself in. And it is ultimately you that is making choices now that are rooted in a clarity and a self-respect. And I think that that new moon, well, the fresh start is very much characterized by self-respect, making it that much more rewarding. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week, especially with a month like this. It's a good idea to log on to NadiaShaw.com and sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.